Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We are in the beautiful Cebu this morning. Stunning views over Crimson right now, heading to breakfast. Very exciting day today because after our breakfast, after some relaxing at the resort, we are having some morning <laughs> black pigs. Kedra remembers these black pigs from last time. Um, we are heading into a different area to try some local electron. So very excited for that. But first, another meal. Do you remember the doors? Yeah. Yes. There's pigs all over this restaurant. <laughs> Should we go inside and see if there's some more pigs? Go on then. Great, thank you. That's perfect. It feels good to be back in Enye, the um, Spanish restaurant here, but they are open for breakfast. They've also got a new Japanese restaurant open, um, and we're going to try that tomorrow for breakfast. But it's basically an a la carte menu to order your, your main part of breakfast, and then there's still like a full buffet of food um, for your breakfast sides and your other courses. My dad was just saying how he's looking at the dakjuk, dakjuk, I don't know how you pronounce that. It's like a Korean chicken porridge. I assume it's like a congee, and George and I have like had it before, and we've seen it everywhere in buffets all over Asia in the UK it's not really something you come across and they were saying how in England pork, sausage and bacon are so common but a chicken wouldn't be, you wouldn't have chicken for breakfast but then in Asia like chicken for breakfast would be quite normal but you wouldn't necessarily have like I don't know would a Korean want bacon and eggs for breakfast I don't know like uh, traditionally uh, how different breakfasts are around the world so it's just quite interesting so maybe comment below where you're watching from and what the most common breakfast is where you live like, that'll be an interesting thing to look at I think yeah in the UK it has to be like bacon and eggs maybe with some toast like a full English but definitely just bacon and eggs if it was like a smaller version. Grandpa's gone to get some breakfast, darling. Do you know what you've got? Oh, eggs and pancakes. Come, come on, climb up here. But today we are, yeah, having a bit of a resort morning and then heading out into, I think we're staying on Mactan Island, but there's a um, very delicious lechon spot that I've come across. And Dad is there. Oh, amazing. Thank you. That was so fast. <laughs> Thank you. Is it okay to put it here and I'll just chop it for him? <laughs> Thank you so much. Look what Koda's got. Thank you. We've got scrambled egg, we've got American pancakes. I'm a little bit jealous, it looks amazing. That was so fast. So yeah, Dad and Kara have tried lechon kawali before. They've tried a little bit of lechon at the buffet in Boracay, but they haven't had like the real deal yet. Like a big plate of lechon, crispy skin, rice, soy sauce, like they haven't had the full lechon experience. So I'm hoping today, when we get there, there's um... I want Yeah, we're gonna put it in your bowl. Do you want pancakes? Look at those pancakes. They look delicious, mister. There you go. Oh, I said thank you. Good boy. Oh, that's amazing. Um, yeah, that's basically the plan for today. Super excited to be here. They both absolutely oh. love it here. Um, oh, it's coffee ready as well. Amazing. Coffee time. Amazing. Thank you so much. I need this. Yeah, thank you. Me too. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Good to be back in Cebu. Oh, it's great to be back. Happy coffee and very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have to say though, I feel like every time I come to Cebu, I remember how friendly the people are here. Even ha going to, um, I went to a gr uh, pharmacy yesterday. Where's old enough? I went to a pharmacy yesterday on the way to the resort just to pick up a couple of things. Because as you travel, you run out of things in your toiletry bag, um, and you need to top them back up. And everyone was just so nice. Everyone's so friendly and happy. Um, so it's, yeah, very good to be back in Cebu. So I've got my first course. We've gone for some salad here, some little gherkins, loads of nuts, some cheese, some meat, and some sushi. And then I've ordered bacon and eggs as well. <laughs> so George has gone for eggs and bacon and steak. We've got what well, the salmon Oops. smoked salmon eggs Benedict. Very nice. Which looks very pretty. I eat with my eyes as well as my mouth, and I like to look at food before I eat it and look at it from each angle. It looks very nice. Really nice. Good. It's a nice salmon. It's a warm muffin underneath. Very nice. It's silky, it's creamy, the egg is rich. Very nice. Happy days. Food. What have you got? We got some papaya for our good fruit vitamins. We got some cheese for some fats. And then we got some nuts for some more healthy fats. Yum. We got some pistachios, some almonds, some oh, walnuts. Look. Koda was just playing at Crimson for over two hours. I had intentions of taking him to the pool there, but he was just loving it so much. He's now got the confidence to go down the big slide on his own, which is really cool. Last night he didn't want to do that, um, but today with Shane, 
he honestly loves Shane so much. He loves all of them there, but specifically Shane, he like talks about when we're in England. And yeah, she's amazing. So um, shout out to Shane for playing with Coda for like two full hours then. While George and I actually were doing a bit of editing, which was really cool. Just come out now to Kalma, Kalma, which is like a little ice cream coffee shop area next to the pool. Um, just to get George a quick coffee and take it back to the room because Code is now having a sleep. And then as soon as he wakes up, Dad and Clara are just in the gym making some space for the lunch because we've got a big Lectron feast coming very soon. So we've decided to go to Rico's Lectron. And I know it's quite controversial, like deciding which Lectron place to go to because I don't know, it's like people's adobo recipes. It's very like, this is my recipe and if you do it differently, like it's quite a personal thing, I think. And what Lectron you like, I suppose is personal as well. We've had Rico's before and really liked it. I'm sure there's other places that we could go to as well, but um, this is on Mactan Island. It's about a 30 minute drive from where we are now, so it's near the airport and it just looked like a good option for us. So um, yeah, we wanted to, we couldn't be in Cebu and not like go out and explore a bit, show them around and then get some delicious lechon. So they're very excited for that. I'm not sure how much to order because when George and I have it, I think we have like a quarter kilo, e uh, not each, a quarter kilo to share. So maybe a half kilo is good for four of us or maybe we just go for it and get a whole kilo and just like have a big feast i don't know um maybe they can advise us at the restaurant but yeah very excited for that they can't wait i can't wait and then we're going to come back in time for sunset again here because we just loved being in the pool yesterday around that time but yeah as you can tell super enjoying our stay here i can actually see claire on the treadmill right now running i think they're they're eating a lot on this trip i mean george and i are quite used to like going around hotels and just eating constantly on these trips i don't know if they're as used to it we're just like yeah the next meal's in two hours and they're like what <laughs> so they're definitely um yeah enjoying the gym making some space for some more food oh we've got matcha ice cream I might come and get some ice cream at another time um, but they've got the tableo one the like dark chocolate which looks really good um hi i think we had it last time i think i have a memory of having the dark chocolate last time here but um yeah super nice here it's just such a nice thing to just spend the day this pool's amazing honestly i think i could spend like a month living here easily wouldn't be a problem <laughs> also i wanted to give a quick thank you to everyone who follows my instagram page because i've been posting loads of reels from this trip i've got loads of like inspiration to post loads of instagram content at the moment so um if you're not following me yet please do and george's account but yeah i've been really enjoying like putting time into instagram more and for some reason my views are getting loads of reels which i'm not really used to so if you've seen them, if you've come across them, thank you. Thank you for interacting with me. But yeah, it's always cool, like seeing people enjoy the stuff you make always means a lot. So anyway, I'm gonna grab this coffee now, walk back to the room. I didn't wear any shoes because island life, but the floor's hot, kind of regretting it. So I'm like hiding in the shade for a second while the coffee's made. And then we'll um, head back to the room, wait for Coda to wake up and then head to Rico's. Ah, oh, that's great, as always. Oh, of course, <laughs> thank of course. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kuya. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. Great vibes. Thank you both. See, Lucy, Lucy brings me coffee and pays for it. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, friendly, friendly guy there. Speaking quietly because Coda is currently. All right, no need to repeat myself then. Yeah, getting a little bit of stuff done on the laptops. And then we're heading out into Cebu. Gonna drink this coffee and uh, caffeinate for the second half of the day. That's boiling hot. Oh. <laughs> Did you just play? <laughs> now it is time for a very exciting part of the day. And yes, you are correct, you know me very well. It involves food, but not any old food. We're in Cebu, so we have to try the lechon. We have to try it. We also couldn't have bought Lucy's dad and stepmom all the way out to the Philippines without them trying the famous lechon, and especially here in Cebu where it's known for. So. We are getting a van to a lechon spot that we we think we might have been to this place years ago with some other vlogger friends of ours. But the photo on Google Maps kind of looked familiar, but we're not sure. When we get there, we will find out. But we're very hungry. They've been in the gym, working up an appetite, very ready. It's been way too long since I've had lechon myself, even though actually we had lechon quali the other night, but still way too long. Oh yeah, that is hot. It's very hot. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh. Okay, we have arrived. Is this the door? It looks like a door, George. Yeah, it looks like a door. Rico's Lechon. Here we are. Thank you. Look! 
hold it with daddy. Yeah, you hold it with daddy. Good boy. So Coda wants to hold the camera. <laughs> okay, so we have arrived. There is not a lot of lechon left. Well, there's, there's a massive pile. We are not going to eat all of that. But what we want to do is try and show them like the whole pig when it's out. Some of it. You like, can, yeah. Some of it there. We did just see a whole other one be delivered, like a whole pig wrapped in like cardboard with like um, string around it to hold it together. So maybe that's for later. But we're currently deciding how many kilos to go for. Well, not how many kilos, how many less than a kilo to go for. Kilo okay, that's even 150 grams. Okay, so Lucy and I were trying to figure out if we've actually had Rico's lechon before. We are not sure, so we are calling any long-term viewers of the channel, anyone who watches and remembers things in detail, have we eaten at Rico's before, back in the day? I want to say we haven't. I know we've had Zubachon, which is like a rival chain, but I can't remember. But anyway, we've ordered, the lechon is on the way. We just saw a whole fresh pig get delivered in like a long box. Um, so. I'm hoping that will come out and we can like have a look at that and get a shot. Maybe get the first of the fresh. We're either getting the last of the old pig or the first of the you new keep pig. saying it like there's no none left. There was like over half a pig there still. <laughs> yeah, there You're was like, quite oh, a lot. We're running out. There's we're only big, ordering three quarters a, of a kilo. A big pile of meat left. It's all going to really be fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that one don't. So can you remember what any Filipino food that you've tried so far we've done? We did the um, in the, in the, sal, mm. the chick, yes. chicken in a sal. Chicken in a sal. Um, we did the beef on the on the, the two seasons. Oh. Sal pakao. Sal pakao. That well, was delicious. That, that was my favourite. Very good. Thank you. Lechon kawali. Oh. Yeah, lechon with the beef How didn't we that did night? I forget the lechon. Yeah. We still haven't had sinigang, which is my favourite. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The lechon was amazing. Yeah, and I'm lechon, looking forward night. to authentic lechon. Yeah. Night yeah. one and night three, that was on it, because we chose yeah. Yeah. second time. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Yummy. That's a good amount. Mm. We don't need a kilo. <laughs> It, we had it without rice to begin with and everyone in the comments was going, oh my god, it's too rich. But I quite like trying it without rice to see if you can really get the full flavour, but it's completely up to you. Hopefully the skin is crispy. That's a big thing here. Yeah. Oh, that yes. sounds... Can you hear oh, it? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes wow. It's all good. Have you tried the meat or just the skin? Just, I went straight in for the skin. Can hear so I always keep the skin to the end when no, I have the roast. the skin. But it's like... <laughs> Oh, it's so tasty. I could just eat the skin. <laughs> mm. I'm so glad it's crispy. Mm. I feel like yeah. sometimes it's quite crispy. Sometimes it doesn't look crispy, but then you pick it up and it really is. Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> no, don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need finger bars after this. Mm. Are you on the meat now? So tasty, though. Yeah, mm. so much flavour. Yeah, I'd love to know what they're doing to it. So it's yeah. in here, you see like the darker bits in the middle of it, they stuff it with all different like herbs and stuff, and then as it's roasted, it just like seeps into the meat. So imagine in England, if you like roasted pork with nothing else, it would just taste like of nothing. But like the amount, the, I think like the flavour intensity, that's why you have to cut it with the rice, isn't it? To, like, yeah, yeah, it's quite rich. Have because... it all together. Um, we've got a garlic rice and a plain rice, so we're just going to have a bit of both. It looks um, like it's on the bone as well. We've got bone yeah. here. Mm. That helps with the flavour, man. Yeah, yeah. Cooking it on the bone. It's very different from the the other lechon we had, which was yes. more like a pork belly. Yes, yeah. Slightly just had a dark bit, and it tastes loads stronger than the light. Yeah, right. it's closer to the heart. Really, herbs. like intense. Yeah. So a lot going on there. But yeah. what looks just like meat. Mm. Yeah. Really taste. Really tasty and really salty, which mm. I like. It is salty. Mm. Right, let me give it a go. I'm gonna have a right first on later. Yeah. It's like yeah. having a, a ton of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a little white hair, a bit of skin and meat. Imagine if it tastes nothing like the normal one. Oh, you want some? You can try some. You can have it. How is it? So crispy. How is it? Nice. Crispy. Crispy, yeah. Okay, let me try again. 
really good. I thought, imagine if they tried it for us and it was nothing like it normally is or something. Yeah, <laughs> and you're going, it's true. amazing. And I'm like, oh, it's not right. But no, it's very, very good. Cut the video, it's rubbish. We're going to Good, good, good. So, what are the sauces here? This is like a vinegar. Yeah. And this is like soy sauce, so you can. On the rice? Or on the meat? I mean, I'll probably have a little bowl to dip in. Uh, but we haven't got that. I like the way we all look around well, at the same time. Bottles, Whilst Lucy is getting a bowl, I'm gonna go in for a little bit. I'll try the skin first. Oh. Mmm, wow. Crunchy. That is so good, Liz. Oh, it's salty. Yeah. It's no tip yet. Yeah, it'll come out. It's like a something in a little bit. Make it no, that one ticked out on its own. Maybe it's just a different consistency. Yeah, yeah I find it's really nice with a bit of soy sauce. Some meat. Oh, that's, you're going to be choking in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're getting that. That hits you off. What's that? Is that the vinegar? It's like mm. a chilli though. Oh, is it? It's got yeah. spice. Like a chilli vinegar. Really hot. It's like a pre -mixed. Yeah. Chilli yeah. Well, I can smell it. So. You've got the garlic I actually prefer rice that to normal well. vinegar. I don't eat vinegar on anything. Mm. I absolutely like the flavour. Wow, there you go. Your first <coughs> authentic <laughs> yes. lechon experience. It's worth waiting for, to be honest. <laughs> Good. So, and I'm so glad we've had it because you know, we've seen such a lot of it in your videos and everything. It's like... Yeah. Definitely. Just pork. How good can it be? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, really, it's worth visiting Cebu to get the yeah. real stuff. Good. <laughs> And there's the intro of the vlog. Yeah, you're very good at this. <laughs> Worth um, dragging ourselves away from Crimson for just for an hour. Mm. I know it's hard. Well, only for an hour. Yeah. I know it's hard. Back. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll soon be back. <laughs> <laughs> That's been really, really good. We just um, requested a little bit of extra skin as well because there wasn't, kind of wasn't enough skin. And then when it came, everyone's like, right, how many are there? I've had two. You've had one. We're trying to like work out what we are owed. It felt like normally the skin like covers all of the meat. Got a bit of sparse, so we requested a bit more and they've delivered. So. Yes, they have delivered indeed. I'll have a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, well, do you want the last one? No, I've had Yeah, go on. Well, I didn't have any of the second batch. And I've had it many more times in my life. You can't get this in the UK. It's a make the most. Disappointment. <laughs> I don't know why you can't get it in the UK. It seems crazy to do it in such a small area. Yeah. Shame you can't get it in the UK because you'll be successful anywhere mm. selling this pork that they do stuff to <laughs> and they just sell with rice and sauce it's delicious it's quite a simple meal really mm, but it is. the flavors are that Meat good yeah. yeah there's three things on the plate and it tastes like there's so much more going on with the flavor in the meat mm. delicious i think anything else would just sort of detract from it though yeah yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no we need to order some side dishes but I think we're good with that. You don't need it. That is the star of the show. That was yum. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Great call. Yeah. <laughs> Cebu lechon. Yes. You had Done. to try The best. <laughs> Complete. <Yeah. laughs> Rico's Brighton. I can see there it There you go. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. Just keep the name going. That's it. Very good. <laughs> so I'm just in the gym here. It's a really good gym for a hotel. I'll give you a quick tour. We've got the weights down here. Currently doing some. Uh, dumbbell chest press. We've got some machines over here, bikes, treadmills, not bikes, what's it called? Cross trainer, there's the bikes. Cross trainer, treadmills, um, some more machines just here. And then like cable machine with a pull up bar, which is always good. Um, some like lap pull down stuff, a leg press. So pretty good gym. I'm still feeling full from the lechon. So today we've just eaten breakfast and lechon lunch. I'm not having dinner because I just feel really full up. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun day today. I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards because I've been in the pool and my eye makeup's all smudged, but that's all good. Um, and then George is actually having a massage tonight. I should look here, I'm looking at myself. Um, George is having a massage tonight at the spa. He can tell you all about that tomorrow in the vlog. Um, and I've got one book for tomorrow as well, which I'm very excited for. So yeah, Coda's going, going to bed in a minute. Uh, Dad and Claire were just in here with me and they've just gone to bed as well or to their room. Um, maybe they'll watch some Netflix or something they said. And then we're meeting for breakfast tomorrow um, for another day here at Crimson. So thank you for joining today. I think I might end this video here. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, um, and we'll see you very soon in the next Daily Juice, which will be on in a couple of days from now. Um, and then in two more nights, we're flying again. 
so not much longer here but having a very nice day in Cebu so far um, and yeah thanks very much for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next one bye